We're up to example two in Perimeter this time, and in this one we're going to be looking at sectors. And I do want to point out, I, I forgot to mention it earlier, that we're talking about Perimeter and yet the formula uses the word C instead of Perimeter, which some of you might not know what that's about. C actually stands for Circumference, and Circumference is basically perimeter but it's specifically used to talk about the length around a curved shape okay so you might as well talk about circumference as being perimeter anyway okay so because these are not full circles we use a formula that is slightly different and what you'll notice is it's got the exact same formula as the other one but it has like a fraction in front of it which in this case is theta over 360. Now theta represents the angle, which in this ca case is 90 degrees, and r, as always, represents the distance from the center to the edge of the circle. So we could, for question A, we could just substitute it into our equation here, theta being 90, remembering that it's all in terms of multiplication, so 2 times pi times r, r being 2.3. And with this we can work it out. So I'm just going to do it on my calculator now. 90 over 360 um, times 2 times pi times 2.3. And it comes out to 3.6. centimeters if I was to do it to one decimal place. Um, now that's one way you can do it. There's actually another way you can do it. I'm going to show you the other way as well. And that involves using the same formula and using the 2 pi r, but instead of doing theta over 360, which is 90 over 360, I'm going to use just a bit of common sense. I'm going to look at this sector or piece of a circle and some of you might recognize that this is a quarter of a circle. And that is essentially the fraction that you're looking to put out the front here. So instead of 90 over 360, you could put a quarter in and you'll get the exact same solution. You'll get 3.6 centimeters. All right. Now, really, really important, it's very important that you understand that you actually haven't solved the whole question yet. And the reason for that is circumference only finds the perimeter of the curved section. So looking at this shape, I've only found the perimeter of this part. This part is 3.6 centimeters. But I haven't found the perimeter around the whole shape. We know that this is length 2.3, which also means that this length is the same. This is 2.3 centimeters as well. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to find my perimeter over here. And I'm just going to go the curved part plus the two straight edges will give me a perimeter of 8.2. Centimeters. And that's that's the final solution for question A. All right. So let's look at question B. We're going to do the same sort of thing. Um, this one, we don't really know what fraction of a circle it is, so we have to use the original formula. Theta over 360, 2 pi r. Theta being 290, it's the angle. And r being the radius, which in this case is... 3.5. Okay, so we're just going to grab our calculator. 290 um, over 360 times 2 times pi times 3.5, which gives us 17.7 meters. And once again, that only finds you the distance around. The curve part, we've got to be really careful. If I was to draw it in red, this section here in red, which I am 
doing a very bad job of drawing, is only is 17.7 .7 meters. And I need to add the other two sections. Let's do them in green. I need to add this one, which is 3.5, and I need to add this line as well, which is also 3.5. So to find my perimeter, I need to go 17.7 .7 plus 3.5 plus 3.5, and um, let's see what we get. I've got 24.7 meters.